Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. I'm at the Carpet One Show in Washington, and I'm with Curtis Blanton, the CEO of Dalton Carpet One. Curtis, how you doing? Very good, Kemp. Thank you. It's good to see you. It's good to talk to you. Just a little side note before we get into what I want to talk to you about. You won our Emerging Professionals Award a few years ago, so you're a young superstar leader. A lot of people know about Dalton Carpet One. It's got the Dalton name, but it's in Athens, Georgia. Mm -hmm. You know, Mike Blanton started that business a long time ago, and unfortunately, you he died a few years ago, and now you are the majority owner of Dalton Carpet One, and you've brought in a partner. His name's JR, right? That's correct. So JR and I have worked together for 15 years. Very good working relationship. He actually serves now as the president of Dalton Carpet One. My primary role is actually to run our commercial business, but him and I still bounce it, bounce ideas off each other and work together on bigger picture things. So like I said, very good deal. You said the commercial division where you focus and you're not only a Carpet One member, but you're also a Starnet member as well, right? Correct. So we, we've been in the Carpet One co-op for gosh, almost 30 years now and understand the dynamics. And so we joined Starnet about two years ago, and it's been an extremely good fit. Yeah. So you're the son of Mike, and you bought the business. I guess you bought it from the estate, right? That is correct. All right. It's good to hear you've, you've gotten this done. So tell us how 18 went for the business. 18 was a good year. We were up, I want to say, about 10% over that's, the last year. That's fantastic. Um, had opportunity to make some investments and invest in some people. So 2019 is, and beyond is looking is shaping up to be excellent. And what percentage of your business is commercial versus residential? Uh, right now we're at about 65% commercial. That's definitely the fastest growing segment uh, in our company. Yeah, that was my next question. So that 10% growth, did a, a, a big percentage of that come out of the commercial side? Yes. As a matter of fact, probably more like 20% growth on commercial and 6-7% growth on, on, re, on residential. Well, still 6-7% in, in a market that probably maybe grew 3 to 4%. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. No, definitely. And we're expecting to grow again next year, you know, another 15%. Yeah. So good things on the horizon. So the people you brought in, are they on both sides of the business? So we've added new salespeople, some additional management, really put the investment in, in training and getting them up to speed to start selling so we've invested a lot in uh, some infrastructure so we're really ready to continue to grow and run more efficiently. Didn't I see you opened another location down in Texas? We did so this year we opened uh, we've been working in Austin Texas for a little while we opened an office out there about two years ago and then officially announced it this year as a permanent place for us. Very glad to be out in Texas great market out there really enjoyed it so far. Are you doing a good job of balancing your personal life? Sounds to me like you're on fire here, and I know, I know it looks how intense you are. Uh, are you doing a good job of balancing all that? You know, this year with the buy, it's been obviously very stressful, a lot to happen. So that'll be a personal goal of mine for 2019. Uh, okay. What are a couple of things you hope to accomplish in 19? In 19, we really want to increase our efficiencies and, and, and become better. We want to grow. We want to get bigger. We want to get better first. You know, we're looking at a few opportunities to expand our re residential business geographically. We'll be looking at some opportunities to expand our commercial business geographically as well and continue to take advantage of some of the economies of scale that being in Austin has presented us. I'd like to mention one other thing. The Alan Greenberg Award was given today, and your father actually won that. Mm -hmm. He's one of the recipients of that. Do you think your father would be proud of you right now? I think so. This is exactly, everything wasn't quite lined out, but I think everything ended up, everybody did the right thing, and I think things ended out as he would have wished. Okay, well, I, I know he's proud of you, and it's, it's good to spend time with you. Again, been talking to Curtis Blanton, the CEO and new owner of Dalton Carpet One and DCO. And you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.